everybody. It's Old Fart, your old buddy. How you doing? I'd like to do a little shameless promotion and ask you to help me get the word out about how important the upcoming November elections are by turning your friends on to this video and to my channel. Ask them to subscribe and ask them to tell their friends and to tell their friends and so on and so on. I'm asking you this because I'm seriously worried about what will happen to America if we don't send every Republican running for office in November packing. The Republican Party and their Tea Party spawn have literally declared open war on women, children, the poor, seniors, the middle class, separation of church and state, and democracy itself. And it's all being financed by a handful of billionaires who want less government so they can pollute, game the system, and take advantage of workers to increase their profits. They don't give a rat's ass about us. All they care about is money. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell came right out and said it on TV. The Republican Party's only agenda is to defeat Barack Obama in November. House Speaker John Boehner came right out and said it on TV that the word compromise doesn't exist in the Republican vocabulary. Tea Party candidate Richard Mordock, who just beat longtime Republican Senator Dick Luger in Indiana, just came right out and said it on TV that the Republican idea of compromise is when they have control of Congress, the Senate, and the White House and the Democrats will have to come crawling to them. Koch Brothers-backed Governor Scott Walker just got caught red-handed on video telling one of his billionaire backers that his plan for Wisconsin was to go after the middle class and workers' rights using divide and conquer so he could give the money out of their pockets to his rich friends in tax breaks. How much proof do we need? All the Republicans have done since the Tea Party extremists took over Congress is obstruct, obstruct, obstruct. They haven't done one damn thing to create jobs because economic recovery would make it harder for them to win in November. They've used the filibuster to block votes more in the past few years than in all previous years in history put together. They've made it clear that they refuse to do anything unless they can have everything their way. As far as I'm concerned, they've quit their jobs, so we need to throw the bums out. The current Congress has the lowest approval rating of any Congress in American history, even lower than the approval rating for making the United States into a communist country. They have zero respect for the American people or what they want. Just look at the clowns and lunatics they tried to pass off as qualified presidential candidates during their debates. Just a few years ago, Republicans were saying that deficits don't matter, but now, all of a sudden, it's the most important thing ever and must be solved immediately or we're all doomed. Well, they've already proved they don't care about deficits. Their real plan is to destroy the middle class. Republicans want to take trillions of dollars from the poor, the sick, and the old and hand it over to the rich in the form of even more tax cuts. Their budget will literally take food out of the mouths of children, needy people, and seniors just to line the pockets of their rich sponsors. But the thing that worries me the most is that the Republicans are clearly trying to rig the election with voter suppression. Voter fraud is just like the WMDs were in Iraq, a problem that doesn't exist that they have a solution for that only benefits them. And they sell it the same way, fear-mongering without any evidence whatsoever. ALEC, the NRA, and oligarchs like the Koch brothers are literally buying this country right out from underneath us with their Citizens United, Corporations are people, my friend, money is free speech, crapola. And the Supreme Court has clearly been stacked against the American people and for the privileged few ever since Bush v. Gore 
decided the 2000 elections. And this is the most important reason why we cannot let Republicans stay in power. Judges who are appointed to sit on the Supreme Court are literally above the law and serve for life. And therefore, Supreme Court appointments are even more important than who the President is or who runs Congress or the Senate at any given time. When the Supreme Court is bought and paid for, democracy is dead. Republicans are conniving liars who have refused to do their jobs unless and until they control every aspect of the government and judicial system. They've said so themselves on the record many, many times. How much more proof do you need? The next election may be our last chance to save our country. So please help me spread the word because unless you want to live in a banana republic, we have to vote every Republican and every Tea Party candidate out of every office in November. We have to throw the bums out for good. So please tell everybody you know about this video and about Old Fart Rants and tell them to subscribe so they can keep up with all the latest videos. And tell them to tell everybody they know and so on and so on. And keep on schooling the ignorant, superstitious bigots and brainwashed morons who come around here posting their propaganda and their cut and paste talking points in the comments. You know, we're only a few thousand strong right now, but we've obviously got a lot of people pretty worked up already. Just imagine what we could do with an even bigger army. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and thanks for your support. And peace and love, everybody. That's where it's at. Peace and love is 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 where it's at.